Turbo Revin Young Punks, it is I, Sound of SG1, coming at you for a Transformers Transformation Review thingy, yes, um, bringing that back, uh, but this, this this episode we're going to be taking a look at um, Transformers Studio Series number 81, Bumblebee, we'll just take a look at the box, of course it's Wheeljack, um, and it's very nice, it comes from the Bumblebee movie, um, that should be, there we are. Uh, we've got Transformer Bumblebee up there, and we've got Transformer Bumblebee, Transformers. Uh, we've got um, a nice artwork of the CGI uh, of the character there. Looks like G1 Wheeljack. Come on. You know, um, the picture there, we've got the, does this, that, and the other thing. We've got a not to three sad onion. Um, we've got some legal shram from blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. And here he is. Um... In his vehicle mode, and a very cool Cybertronium sort of dragster sports car. Now I've got a problem with man. This there's not uh, this there's not supposed to be a gap there. For some reason, mine just doesn't want to peg in very well. It just doesn't want to, and it looks thingy. Yeah, uh, there's like a little gap there that should be all should be all flush. You see. Um, yeah, not a bad little car, actually. I quite like quite like this little car. This was a birthday present off my sister. So, thank you, sister. She ain't watching this. She don't like Transformers. Um, but it was a birthday present off my sister. And, yeah, so, um, it's a really cool-looking car, isn't it? I quite like this guy. Um, he rolls fairly well. Spins as well. He actually rolls really well. Um, I, you know me, I'm not a comparison guy, but I thought I'd do it in this case. This is the um, Earthrise uh, Wheeljack. Yeah, as you can see, this is the Earthrise Wheeljack. And he is, um, you know, a good size bigger, you know. Um, this is this is a deluxe, and so is this. But as you can see, he is... Let me just pull his camera back a bit so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see, this guy is a little bit smaller, Yeah. I'm not overly impressed with the size, but I do like the design. If it was just, um, just a hair bigger, maybe, sort of that scale, you know, it'd be better. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I thought I'd just put the two wheel jacks together. So we'll just move him out of the way. Because we're focusing on this guy today. He's really cool. I do like the mode. I think it's really nice. Let's take a closer look at it. Um, we've got some nice detail in there. We've got the usual colours for Wheeljack. The green, the white, and the and the red. It's looking more redder on camera. It's looking more, it's more like a uh, maroon, I want to say. Um, in natural light, it looks more red on the camera. Uh, the white looks more white as well. Um, it is a different shade of white. I don't think it's coming out too clear on there. Um, let me just check in direct sunlight. Actually, no, you know what? It's actually the same colour. <laughs> it's actually the same colour white. It's all one off white, which is really nice. But anyway, enough about that one. So yeah, it rolls quite nicely. You've got some nice uh, detailing on the wheels there. Very Cybertronian. It's very nice, very nice. Um, and then we've got all these, you know, intakes. You've got these detailing going on there. He just looks like he's built for speed. But also a bit of power in there as well, you know. So, let's take him to robot mode, shall we? So, you can put his gun on. He's got gun storage there. Well, let's take that off. Um, that's what he looks like without his gun on. Nah, not too bad. Um, so, yeah. Really, really, really. Um, so, transform it. All you do is you just sort of... It's one of those that you're just going to disconnect parts and get them out of the way kind of transformers. Um, so, you just disconnect all of these, all of these. Disconnect, disconnect. Uh, there we go. Disconnect those. It's a real weird transformation, actually. So we'll just move that out of the way for now. Um, we'll focus on his legs first, because his legs are a bit weird. Um, actually, no, we'll focus on his arms. Again, his arms are a bit weird as well. So what you do is you separate the arms like that, and then you move, basically rotate everything at the back section round like that. Same for this side as well. So And then you pull them out, pull them out, his arms. And you pull them out, and you pull them out, his shoulder thing is um so basically you rotate this bit down it's on a real tight joint that oh, i feel i'm gonna break it every time i move it straighten out his head so you've got these little part and post system going on in there so you just fill fill them in together and then you get his chest it rotates up and then this bit rotates down and then that bit you've got again you got uh post and ports rotate that in 
boom, clicks in, and there's Wheeljack. Almost, we haven't done his legs yet. We rotate him out of the waist. Um, I should have done that. Uh, there we are. So his, his feet, his, his legs are weird. So you pull down his feet, then you basically have to um, rotate this is what will become his shin, and then you've got to rotate it just a bit so you can get. Hang on a minute, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hold on, I'm just going to have to quickly see the video. I've been playing with this all morning just to make sure that I get it right for the video. Um, oh, yeah, so you rotate that. Um. Oh, that's it, right, yeah. Sorry. You rotate is what will become his shin right down like that. Then you get this bit and rotate it back as far as it'll go, like that. Then you get this section, rotate it down. And I rotate that round like that, that bit down. And then you've got another port and post there, which just fits in thus. There we are. Um, it's not a, it's not a difficult transformation. It's just one of those that sometimes the parts won't sort of go past each other. You've got to really kind of wrench them out, and that happens a lot. I was just going to say, bits uh, tend tend to fall off this guy, which is a bit of a shame because I actually like the figure a lot. Um, so we rotate that. Oh come on, are you going to go? No. See, what I mean, some parts it just doesn't want to. Doesn't want to go. There we go. Rotate that down like that, and then uh, that's on the wrong way. That's why it won't go. Oh fucking hell! There we have. Clicked it back on the wrong way. Now it won't. Now I want it to pop off. It won't. Brilliant. There we go. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. I hate these parts that pop off. That's it. And then you rotate that round, and then you rotate that round. Go this way around, and then it fits in there like that, and then you sort of straighten him out, and you rotate. I forgot to do that one. Rotate that in like that, and there is Wheeljack in his robot mode, and he's really fucking cool, actually. Um, yeah, there he is in his robot mode. He's really cool. Um, in terms of articulation, he can rotate his arm three sixty at the shoulder. Um, when you get these, won't stay in very well. He's got a ball joint, so they can. You've got some nice in and out. You've got a bicep tw uh, swivel. You've got a double hinged uh, elbow, which is part for transformation. But you get some nice poses out of him. Nothing at the wrist. He's got a waist articulation, but it's kind of hindered by this. Um, you've got a ball jointed hip, so you can go. Well, only got about there, but back forward. But mine is a little loose. But a little bit of clear nail varnish on that ball joint will sort that out. Um, he hasn't got. A, oh, he has got a bicep, um, a thigh swivel. It's it's hidden by this cover, so he can do that. He can bend at the knee, and he's at, and his foot goes up and down. But that's your basic lot for this guy. But he's not too bad. Um, yeah, just fucking his legs are just too, um, just too loose. And he's really cool. Let's have a look at his noggin. Come on. No, come on, focus. Focus. There we are. Look at that head sculpt, boys and girls. That is really cool. Let me zoom that in a bit. I haven't zoomed it out in that wrong way. Oh, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? You can actually see the detail in his eyes. That is really cool. And he's got his um, flashing antenna. Looks like Wheeljack. You know? It really does. I'm a bit unsteady, there we are. But you actually see the detail in his eyes, that's cool. That's cool, that is cool. Nice big Autobot badge. So we'll zoom that out again, there we are. But he's really cool, and he stands nicely. If it just wasn't for the... The the, the ball joints are a little bit loose. But he does come with a big fucking gun, which is very nice. Um, come on, come on. Come on. There we are. Nice gun. I'll zoom that in as well. Let's take a closer look at his gun. There we are. Some nice detailing going on there. Some uh, stuff going on. Oh, come on. There we are. Very nice gun. Almost got like a pump shotgun, isn't it? It's very cool. Very nice. 
Um, yeah, it's a very cool gun. I like it. Um, let's zoom him out. He can store this in vehicle in robot mode. You've got a port on the back there, and then you can put it on the back, so he can stand like that, ready to be in battle. And then when he wants to get into battle, he can just put it in his hand, like so. And there he is, ready for battle. He's pretty cool. I actually like him a lot, a real lot. Um. So yeah, he's just a lovely figure, I think. Um, we'll bring in this comparison again with his Aetherized counterpart. Um, yeah. Yeah, this guy's, this guy's the same when he's him and he's a little bit smaller. He, that irritates me, but he's a nice figure, though. If he was just a little bit bigger, say that big, you know, it would be be it'd be better figure, but, you know. But yeah, so that's, a, that's him next to his Aetherized counterpart. So yeah, um, we're not done. As all studio series, uh, as you know, uh, come with a background. So we're going to bring in this background here. As you can see, it's what's on Cybertron, like we see at the beginning of Bumblebee. Um, it's got Bumblebee on there, and it's got Transformers there. I don't like this here, though. That's the only thing I've known is that bit there. You know, they could have put it here, or here, or even instead of that, instead of that there. But, you know, but it's a nice little diorama. Uh, we set it up like that, and then you can set Wheeljack up. In a really cool pose, you know. Let's see, let's do him in a pose like that. Like he's ready for action, you know. It's pretty cool. I like it. I do like it. I've always liked the studio series. I mean, I'm not a big, as people know, I'm not a big Bayverse fan. I do have a couple of the uh, Ethra, uh, the uh, studio series figures because they're like 10 quid from B&M. Um, I got a couple of them while I, while I could, but you know, it, it's, it is what it is. But yeah. I like this. Um, so, big thanks to my sister who got it for my birthday. And a big thank you to all my patrons. Um, Lisa Payne, Ian Swift and Stephen Ayres. Yes, I am going to do a video about the Eagle Moss situation. But we'll get onto that another time. Uh, if you would like to join my Patreon squad, uh, check out the link up here. There's some cool rewards over there. Including as little as a pound a month, you get your name shouted out and you get your name in the credits. Um, check out my other Transformers videos, which should be along here somewhere. And please like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to tell me I've got new content out, which um, hopefully it should be two videos this week. So, you know, it should be good. So, thank you for watching and I will catch you all soon. Bye for now. <laughs>